Okay, we're going to be talking about the surface area and volume of a sphere. This is super easy, okay? A sphere is the set of all points in space equidistant from a given point, which is called the center, okay? The radius of a sphere is the segment from the center to any point on the sphere. A sphere is pitched like an orange or the globe, okay? We still have a diameter of a sphere, and it goes all the way through the center, okay? Half of a sphere is called a hemisphere, okay? So here's just some more d definitions, uh, words about a uh, sphere, okay? Again, radius goes here, the center is in the middle, okay? Again, a sphere is like a 3D circle, okay? Um, diameter goes all the way across. Um, something called a great circle is a circle that goes all the way through the center, okay? And half of a sphere is called a hemisphere, okay, which you probably knew. We, have, we live in the northern hemisphere of the, the Earth, okay? Um, so the surface area is... 4 pi r squared, that's it, there's the radius, okay, volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, okay, only one number to plug in besides pi, which is just the radius, so this is pretty easy, okay, find the surface area and volume of the sphere with the given conditions, so I'm going to try to draw this sphere, for some reason I'm pretty good at drawing these, I don't know why, something like that, I'll pretend it's there. Okay, the radius here is 3 inches, so the surface area is 4 pi r squared. Pi, as we know, is 3.14 times the radius squared. Oops, but the radius is 3, not 4. Okay, so 4 times 3.14 times 3 times 3 gives you 113.04 square inches. Okay. And now just we're gonna, it's going to be a little difficult with the volume here. The volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay. I'll give you a hint as to how I think you should put this in the calculator. Let's plug this in first. So we get 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius cubed. Okay. The 4 thirds is going to be tricky. So what I recommend doing, do 4 times 3.14 times 3 times 3 times 3, press enter to see what that is, and then divide the whole thing by 3. So you could really think of the 4 thirds as being like this, dividing everything by 3. So figure that part out first and divide the whole thing by 3. And when you do that, ironically, you end up with the same answer as the surface area, which is a little weird, but that happens sometimes, except this is inches cubed because it's volume and not squared. Okay. This one says the diameter is 12 feet, so let, again, let me try to draw it here. There's the circle, there's kind of the, eh, well, not very good, but you get the idea. Okay, so this is 12 feet, which means the radius is 6. I need to know the radius to use the formula. So the surface area is 4 pi r squared. The radius is 6, so we have 4 times 3.14 times 6 squared. So multiply all that out in the calculator, and you get 452.4 square feet. And the volume, 3.14 times 6 cubed. So again, do 4 times 3.14 times 6 times 6 times 6. All of that, press enter, divided by 3, you end up with 904.7 cubic feet. Okay? And then number three says find the volume of a hemisphere. Well, a hemisphere is half of a sphere, so um, the radius is five. This is like taking an orange and only finding and slicing it in half. Okay? So volume is four-thirds pi r cubed. Whatever I get for that, though, I'm going to divide the whole answer by two, because I only want half of it. So I have four-thirds times 3.14 times the radius cubed. Divide all that by 2. So what I suggest doing, 4 times 3.14 times 5 times 5 times 5, press enter or equals, then divide that answer by 3, and then press enter, and then divide that answer by 2. We end up with 261.6 cubic feet for the volume. Okay, so your homework will be very similar to that, pretty easy.